the next question is regarding amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and the answer to this question is D, fasciculation of the tongue. So now amyotrophic lateral sclerosis is a part of motor neuron disease MND. It is a degenerative disorder. Number two, it only involves the motor system. That means there is no involvement of other system. That means patient will have only motor manifestation. Sensory and other feature will be totally normal. So when we talk about the classification of MND, we classify in following categories. The first one is we talk about where we have feature of only lower motor neuron muscles of the, of the limbs. We call it to be progressive. Spinal muscle atrophy. In this case, we only get element findings. Then we get primary lateral sclerosis. Here we have only UMN feature, that is, upper motor neuron features are there. Then there are patients where they have both LMN feature as well as UMN features. Okay? And this is known as amyotropic lateral sclerosis. But point to be noted, in this only spinal cord or all the problem is due to spinal cord. But spinal muscle to be more precise. But there are people who have, in these patients, even upper motor neuron of, or lower motor neuron of, cranial nerve may also be involved. So when we have lower motor neuron palsy of the cranial nerve, then we call it to be bulbar palsy. And when we have upper motor neuron, the involvement of cranial nerve, we call it to be pseudobulbar palsy. So now in the present question, what we are finding that patient has tongue involvement. Obviously in this case, 12th nerve is involved. And whenever we have a cranial nerve involvement, that always have a bad prognosis. So that's why when we are getting fasciculation of the tongue, that means patient has bulbar palsy. And that's why it has a bad prognosis. And remember, if there is pseudobulbar palsy, then jaw jerk will be brisk. Why? Jaw jerk involves fifth nerve. That is a part of pseudobulbar palsy. 